Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about how to dress modestly and still look smoking hot. <laughs> So I recently did a video all about why you should dress modestly and I got a lot of comments asking how to do it and still look put together and still look beautiful. And I am such a big proponent of dressing modestly but not looking frumpy. I don't think that dressing modestly means you have to look frumpy at all. I think that there are so many options to look beautiful and still not dress in a way that's inappropriate. There's definitely ways to dress modestly and still catch a guy's eye. So I love looking in my closet or going shopping and finding pieces that I can add to my closet and add to my collection that will just really up my fashion game, but aren't really going to make me look super sexy, super distracting. So modesty to me is just about dressing in a way that has a good intention behind it and follow certain rules, right? So I was raised Orthodox and in Orthodox Judaism, there are a lot of very strict rules. Some of them include covering your elbows, covering your collarbone, wearing skirts, and those are beautiful rules. And I think in the future, I probably will be adhering to those more strictly. So it was an interesting thing for me because I became less religious when I moved away from home. And during that time, I kind of explored how I wanted to dress more. And there was a definite pull for me personally to dress immodestly. And I like talking about this because I think it's important to recognize that dressing modestly isn't just easy for everyone. I know that I still have times where I'd like to wear things that are shorter than maybe I should, or that show more skin than I really should be showing. And it was interesting for me because I did dress a little bit bit more immodestly when I was in New York. And of course, my standards of immodesty don't necessarily match with most people's standards of immodesty because I had been dressing so modestly before that. But I did dress more immodestly than I was used to. And it was a very interesting thing for me to see how the way I dressed affected my interactions. And it did end up bringing me back to dressing more modestly. And now I love dressing modestly because I kind of understand why I shouldn't have dressed that way in the first place. And so one of the things that I like to talk about with modesty is that there's an intention behind it, right? We don't want to be attracting men's gazes where they're only looking at our bodies. We want men to think that we're beautiful and lovely and feminine, and that could open up a really beautiful conversation between us where he can get to know your character because you were beautiful in the first place, but not distractingly overtly sexual. So having said that about my Orthodox Judaism and upbringing, I don't necessarily adhere to all of that strictly right now, but I still think that there are some really good rules to keep to when you're dressing and trying to keep modesty in mind. I try not to show cleavage for the most part. If I'm wearing a shirt that has a little bit of a V-neck and something accidentally shows, okay, that's like accidental, but I'm not wearing something that is purposefully showing that. And I try not to wear things like leggings without wearing a shirt over that would cover my bottom. I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on this, but I thought I would drop it in here. My view on leggings is that leggings are inappropriate unless you are at the gym or you're wearing a long tunic or something over it because they show a lot of a region that is distracting and I don't think that it's very appropriate. So if you're going to wear them, wear a longer shirt, wear a longer jacket, cover up that area, and then if you're going to wear them to the gym, okay, more flexible on that. So <laughs> that's my view on leggings, getting that out of the way. I think that there are just certain rules that make sense, right? Where you're not going to wear super short skirt where if you bend over, you'll see everything. <laughs> but like, I'm not opposed to wearing shorts in the summertime if you're not wearing shorts that show the underneath part of your bottom. I think that's a little much, but wearing a pair of shorts in the summer when it's really hot out, I don't think that's inappropriate. I don't think most people think that's inappropriate. Just kind of depends on who you are and what you think. But I don't think that that's immodest, especially if you're not wearing it with the intention of, ooh, look at my legs. Everyone should see how cute I am. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys five outfits that you can get some inspiration from of modest outfits that are still really stylish, still really hot, and still really kind of are attention grabbing without being overtly sexual. And that to me is like the sweet spot. That's where you wanna be when you're dressing modestly. Very beautiful, very attractive, but not showing everything off. So let's hop into it. 
So the first outfit that I picked out was one that you could wear maybe with dinner with girlfriends or maybe even on a slightly more casual date night. And so I started off with this black top. I love this black top because it's really modest but it has that little bit of something different with these little cutouts at the shoulder. I think that's really cool. And it's a little bit blousey so it looks good with a pair of pants that are a little bit more tight fitting. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing these pants and they are a little bit more tight fitting so for me, I feel generally more comfortable wearing a longer blouse with it. I don't think it's necessary because these aren't leggings, these are pants, but if you are someone who's more uncomfortable showing the shape of yourself, then wearing a longer blouse totally makes sense. I love these pants though because they're a really cool color and they stand out a little bit more than your average pair of jeans. Now one of the things I love about this outfit is the accessories. So this is a really cute purse. It's just a fake leather bag. I really love shoulder bags. They're kind of my favorite. They're generally my go-to because they're just so easy to throw on. And this one actually holds more than you might expect even though it looks pretty flat. <laughs> and then the shoes I chose are these really cool black mules. They're very interesting and they're super comfortable. I think I I got them at Nordstrom Rack and they really add this flair to the outfit that makes it very modern and it doesn't look like if you saw someone in this outfit you wouldn't think wow they're modest you would just think wow that's a really cool outfit and then as far as jewelry I put on just some bangles with cool shapes I like these a lot because they're just kind of subtle but they still have a little bit of a glint and a gleam at the wrist and then these awesome earrings which are super cool wood shaped and they just are very modern too so this is what I would call a very modern outfit and the thing I like about these kinds of outfits is that you don't necessarily look at an outfit like this and think that's a modest person. You just think, wow, that's a really cool outfit. That to me is perfect. In my opinion, you want to look as if you're not trying to be modest. You just happen to be dressing modestly in a modern fashion sense. Next up is outfit number two. So this I would say is maybe good for a professional dinner or even a cocktail hour. And it's definitely modern because it's not just a cocktail dress. We're wearing a wide leg pant. So I love these pants. They are super flattering. And putting them with the silvery top I think really elevates it because these would probably be more of a business pant. But wearing it with a beautiful top will just give you that added level of mm, very pretty. <laughs> As you can see, the top doesn't really dip very low, which I think is really nice. It has kind of an interesting dolman sleeve. That's what you call it when it's connected to the side there. It doesn't really have its own set sleeve. And then you have these really cool blue suede heels, which I love. They're super comfortable. And then I put on a bunch of really cool accessories here. I've got this really awesome Jennifer Miller ring, which I just absolutely love. And then I put that with these earrings, which kind of match, even though they're totally separate, and they're ear crawlers. And I just love the way they look. Again, very modern. And then I put on this bracelet just to add a little bit more glitz and this pink clutch. I liked the idea that the clutch was just a little pop of color and it didn't need to compete with any of my jewelry pieces. So I just love this outfit because again, it looks really modern and classic. So it's classic, it's conservative, it's fashionable, and it's modest. And modest is kind of like halfway down the list. You're not necessarily looking at someone and thinking, wow, she's dressed modestly. It's more, wow, she looks really beautiful. Oh, I guess that happens to be modest. Next up, we've got outfit number three. So this would be really nice just for a casual day. Maybe if you're doing a day at the park, you wanna do a picnic, or if you're going to the mall, something where you're gonna be doing a little bit of walking, but you don't need to be wearing pants. You can probably be wearing a dress and it wouldn't be a big issue. And I just love this outfit because it looks so comfortable and casual. And this is just a really cute dress from Forever 21. I think it was probably under $15. The nice thing about a dress like this is that if it gets dirty, you can throw it in the wash. I love dresses like that. And then this jean jacket just gives a little bit of extra flair to the whole outfit. And I love these white gym shoes because they go with everything. And I love the color along the side. They're really comfortable and I got them at Costco. So <laughs> I love the idea of pairing a skirt with white gym shoes. It just looks really good together. Then I've got my little accessories. I've got just little earrings that don't really get in the way and a Kate Spade watch, which gives a little bit of added femininity with the interesting face. And then I've got this wicker purse, which I think is really cute and adds that summery feeling. So the nice thing about this outfit is that if you get too hot, you can take off the jean jacket and you could even tie it around your waist. That would be a very 90s look, but it might be cute because the 90s are coming back in style. And the whole outfit just works really well together. Is it modest? Yes. Is it cute? Absolutely. Up next, we've got outfit number four. Now this is 
perfect if you're gonna be doing like a long day. So if you're going to the zoo, or you're going to Disneyland or Disney World, or you're just doing a full day outing where you wanna be able to carry a water bottle in your backpack, and you wanna be wearing comfortable shoes. And I just think this is so cute, so easy, super modest, but you wouldn't necessarily even notice. So this one's really cool because I just took a bunch of the pieces I've already worn and mixed them up. So I'm wearing the white shoes, these pants again, and the jean jacket, and I just threw on like a comfortable Disney t-shirt. And I just think it's really cute because it adds a little bit of extra kind of personality to the outfit. And then I put on just small accessories. I've got a pair of hoops on and this watch, which is just more casual because it's got the leather band. And I've got this really great little backpack which I absolutely love you can throw so much in it but it doesn't feel heavy and it's also super fashionable and cute perfect for a long day if you're going out you need to carry snacks water bottles whatever it is you just can throw it all in there and you don't even have to worry about it I'm such a fan of this outfit it's so cute and comfortable and the nice thing is little bonus is that this jacket is just long enough that if again you're feeling uncomfortable with how tight these pants are you can cover up a little bit so that's a really nice thing too the last outfit I've got here is outfit number five. And this one's super great if you're going to church or if you are going to synagogue or if you are going to a wedding. I love this dress, even if you're just going out to dinner. I mean, you can wear this for any really just fancy occasion and it is so pretty and so feminine, so covered up, but you wouldn't even realize. It's got these really beautiful kind of blousey sleeves and then this tie around the waist. And then as you can see, I'm just wearing a little beige camisole. So you can barely even notice it's there, but just in case anything shows that I don't want to, I'm covered. I don't even have to worry about it. And I paired it with all of these really cute accessories. I've got this light blue Kate Spade purse, which I think looks great with it because it just emphasizes the pastel colors all over the dress. And then I put on these little crystal drop earrings, which I think are so pretty. And then this big statement necklace, which of course matches the colors of the dress, matches the theme of the dress, and that looks really cool too. And then I just put on a pair of shoes that don't compete with the rest of the outfit. So these nude strappy sandals, I just think look great with this, don't compete. And the whole outfit together looks really beautiful, really feminine, and really modest. So as you can see, all of these outfits I think look super pretty on, super attractive, super hot if you wanna call it that, and they're all modest. And I think that's really something to keep in mind is that you don't have to be modest in an obvious way. I know that sounds kind of funny, but what I mean by that is you don't have to bring attention to the fact that you're dressing modestly. You can dress modestly in a way that people will just think you're dressing nicely and it won't even occur to them that you're only wearing things that cover up certain areas. And I think it's just a really nice thing to know that you don't have to draw attention to the fact that you're trying to dress in a certain way. The thing that's gonna draw attention to you is that you just look nice. And so many people don't put that much effort into the way that they look. And I think it is so important to put effort into the way you look. So if you're going to put effort into the way you look and you're going to dress modestly, you might as well get attention for the fact that you just look put together, not the fact that you look super modest. And I think these are five outfits you can see really do both. And that's the best thing ever. So let me know in the comments below what outfits you liked the best, which ones of these you would try, what are your favorite kind of tips and tricks for dressing modestly? I would love to hear. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe to my channel and blog if you haven't already. Head over to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and follow me there. Hit that notification bell, hit that like button. Go ahead and head over to classicallyabby.locals.com if you'd like to support my channel, see more of this content, and be part of our community. And I'll see you in my next video.